Hi, Lake Grove family. Pastor Greg here with Wednesday's Video Devo from the Reservoir. Page 319. This month is the God-saturated life, and this week we're focusing on partnering with the Trinity, focusing today on living well as embodied selves, body and soul. And even though the dualism of the ancient Greeks, which you may remember from Western civilization in college, even though it still finds its way into our reality, separating the material from the spiritual and even placing the spiritual on a higher plane, as Bible-based followers of Christ, we know that God created the material world and called it good. Leslie Hanscom told us about this on Monday. God created us to be physical and spiritual beings at the same time. Now, I think the writings of the New Testament, especially the Apostle Paul, have sometimes tempted us to think about these things in an unhealthy way. See, Paul, in an effort to communicate with his Greek listeners, talked about reality and concepts they would understand, and that included talking about the spiritual realm, which was good, and the fleshly realm, which was not good. I think he was trying to speak their language, but it caused a misunderstanding for generations of Christians especially, including our spiritual forebears, the Puritans, who bought into the idea that our bodies, our flesh, just get us into trouble. So all our sensual desires are bad, and they are sources of temptation away from the spiritual ways of God. This separation of body and soul, this tendency to aspire to higher spiritual virtues and subdue our physical nature, is still very present in our society, and it's not always healthy. Our thinking and feelings and our spiritual aspirations are gifts from God, yes, but so are our bodies, and they ideally mutually support each other. Today's scripture is none other than the passage about the fruit of the Spirit, which is the sermon series we're having right now, about partnering with the Holy Spirit to cultivate love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The Spirit indwells our bodies and minds to grow this magnificent fruit within us, and as we yield ourselves holistically to the Spirit of Christ, holistically meaning body and soul, God gradually transforms us to be more like Christ, actually to be holy. So we don't just give our hearts to Jesus, we give him our whole selves, hearts, minds, wills, and bodies. God, we're all for you, body and soul. Have a great day. God bless you.